Slow lorises are a small group of wide-eyed nocturnal primates found in the forests of South and Southeast Asia. They are difficult to detect even within their known range. They live in bamboo forests mixed with hardwood trees, forest edge habitats, and dense scrub. They usually curl up in a ball, with their heads tucked up under their arms, making them blend in and stay toasty. Though surrounded by leaves, they don't eat them, but occasionally lick them for moisture. If you enjoy this content, and would like to see more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. They might look adorable, but think twice before snuggling up to one. They may look harmless, but a slow loris can pack a gnarly bite laced with venom powerful enough to rot flesh. The slow loris possesses sacs beneath its forelimbs that it licks prior to biting. Licking the sac transfers venom to the mouth of the loris that can result in an anaphylactic reaction and death. Scientists have long been fascinated with slow lorises, and until now, they haven't been able to pinpoint exactly why they have venom or how they use it. However, a new study suggests that slow lorises mainly use their toxic bites in fights against each other, instead of defending themselves against other species. There are only five other mammals known to use venom against individuals of their own species. The list includes vampire bats, two species of shrews, platypuses and solenodons, which are shrew-like critters found in Central America. The first thing you notice on a slow loris is its huge, round eyes. As a nocturnal hunter and forager, it needs those big eyes to detect its next meal. Their diet mainly consists of insects and other arthropods, eggs, fruits, and miscellaneous vegetation. The slow loris has a short, dense, woolly coat that varies between light brownish to deep reddish brown, with a white chest and belly, and light colored outlines on its face. They are primarily preyed upon by orangutans, hawk eagles, snakes, and large cats such as leopards. But they don't take threats lying down. The first line of defense is a fierce hiss, followed by emitting a strong odor. If it's still under siege, the loris clasps its arms over its head, a pose that combined with its facial markings, mimics the expanded hood of an angry spectacled cobra. Endangered by the illegal pet trade, the slow loris is easily captured and smuggled worldwide, and their passive appearance is a defense mechanism to feeling threatened. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it interesting. Check out this next video on the strongest animals on earth. Have a great day and stay tuned for more videos on wildlife.